A former sales director of a media group of companies, Lillian Ung took up the new skin opportunity in 2002 and left her high-paying position to go full-time into the business. When Lillian first joined the new skin business, her success rate was extremely low as she wasn't a people person. What Lillian lacked in social skills, an integral part of direct selling, she made up for with a willingness to learn and change for the better. With a razor sharp focus in everything she commits herself to, Lillian sees every obstacle as an opportunity. Instead of focusing on the problems, Lillian decided to face each challenge head on and focus on finding solutions. Lillian is a visionary leader who thinks big but starts small. She is able to visualize what she wants to achieve and works hard to realize it. However, Lillian doesn't treat the business as a money-making machine, but a business based on a long-term win-win relationship. She leads her team by building strong relationships with people and by being compassionate and understanding of others. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome on stage 10 million dollar circle, 3 year Timmy Lee Platinum and 10 year Timmy Lee Lillian Ong! Wow, Southeast Asia is my favorite market. All my favorite people are in this room. Yeah. Indonesia, Abakaba. Yeah. Where is Vietnam? Vietnam, Xinjiang. Yeah. And where is Thailand? Yeah. Somebody Wow, I think, um, you know, New Skin is amazing. We should give New Skin another super big round of applause. You know, Southeast Asia is a very special market. We have many different countries with different languages, diverse in culture, but we are united. United in one New Skin spirit. And our spirit is to raise the professionalism of this industry to make New Skin the number one opportunity platform in the marketplace. Are you with me? Are you with me? This is the reason why we are here, right? So, you know, today I'm very honored that I'm here to share about this topic called lead, all right? So every time, when we think about lead, what do we think about? When we think about the word leadership, is it a very big word? Is leadership a very big word? Oh no. Am I speaking English? Where is the Southeast Asia passion, response, and the enthusiasm? You know, I've been waiting at the back hall. You know, my brain is running out of oxygen. Seriously speaking, I need more encouragement than this, honestly speaking. <laughs> no matter how many times I'm share, I'm always nervous. Why? Because I want to bring the best to you. Seriously. You know, so when we, whenever we heard about the word lead or leadership, it always means a very big word. A very heavy word, you know. We think about, you know, when we talk about leader, we think about big names like Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, you know, Nelson Mandela or John C. Maxwell. But what is the meaning of leadership? Who can be a leader? Who can be a leader? Do you know that indirectly that every one of us is leading someone. 
Now, when we go back to our home today, are we leading our children? Yes, right? In your office, in your team, are you leading somebody? Even by sitting in this room, if you don't believe me, everybody has influence. Everybody has leadership influence. If you don't believe me, if someone on your role is yawning nonstop, the whole role will start yawning. Is it true? So every one of us is exerting leadership influence, whether it's positive or negative. And similarly, if someone is clapping, the whole role will be? Do you know why we always clap in our life? Because in life, everything is worth celebrating. You know, nobody claps like this. You know, when you clap, your energy is high. You know, you resonate a frequency that is preparing for your success. Right? This clap is for you. All right? So to me, everybody can be a leader. And most importantly, it's about leading ourselves first. You know? So I asked around, and few people told me, leadership sounds scary. You know? Like, you know, it's, it's a lot of responsibility and all that. But do you know what does leadership means to me? Lead, leadership it's a very beautiful word. Why? What is leader? You know, leader is not someone who stands on a podium, gets an award, you know. No, a leader is someone who is willing to improve life. To me, a leader is what I call a servanthood leadership. The amount of money that we make is proportional to how many people we are willing to help. Don't you think so? So, you know, thank you very much. This is the meaning in what we do. So, if you're someone who's willing to step up to improve the life of your family, and the people around you, you have the makings of a great leader. So many people say, what makes you so passionate about new skin, right? What makes you so alive after so many years that you do new skin? Each time when I talk about new skin, you know, I come alive. Do you want to know why? Now, this is very much about what we do every day in New Skin. If you ask me, what is leadership? You know, what does lead mean? It is very much in this mission statement. Can we read together? Our mission is to be a force for good. Improve life. Come on, the New Skin spirit. This is the meaning in what we do. In life, we cannot control the width of our life. We can control the depth of our life. And to me, lead is a meaningful word because it's all about making life meaningful. So, you know, in actual fact, I just came back from Africa. I look a bit tan, right? Am I? Yeah, I, I was there for more than two weeks with my family. You know, so I just came back not long ago to see you guys in a convention. So, you know, we were chasing after animals, right? We call the Africa Big Five, okay? The Africa Big Five. And they are none other than elephant, what do you see? Rhinoceros, buffaloes, cheetah, and lion. Now, who is the king of the jungle? 
Again? Lion. Why lion? Why? You know? And uh, I was really hunting high and low in the safari, looking for lion. And lion is the only animal that I didn't see. Okay? So, you know, why lion? A lion is not the heaviest. They are not the fastest. They are not the tallest. And they are not the smartest. But why is lion the king of the jungle? Have you ever asked this question? Yes or no? You know, so I went to ask the guy, why is lion the king of the jungle? You know, it's very similar to our new skin business. Many people will tell me, Lillian, I can't talk like you. You know, I don't have network. I don't know how to do the business. How can I be a leader? But like I said, leader is about leading ourselves well. So back to lion. So I was asking, why? Why did every animal respect the lion? Okay? Well, I don't know whether have you seen a real elephant. They are like maybe 10 times my size and they are huge. Do you know, how do you know when an elephant is angry? The ears will jut out. You know, so elephant to get angry. But why even a huge animal like elephant is afraid of the lion? Do you know when an elephant saw a lion, do you know what is in their mind? They will say, oh no! They will say, eater, eater, run! That's what an elephant says when they see a lion. And do you know what a lion tells himself when he sees an elephant? The lion say, hmm, lunch. <laughs> so, a lion is the king of the jungle because he has no fears. He's not afraid of any animals in the jungle. And on the average, a lion doesn't win all the time. When he goes hunting, he needs to persevere seven to eight times on the average before he catches his prey. If you ask me one word that makes lion the king of the jungle is what we call the attitude. Okay? It's what we call the attitude. His attitude, what attitude? His die, die, must make it attitude. <laughs> Makes every animal respect him for who he is. All right, so if I could summarize what it takes to be a leader, it's not about your ability, it's about your attitude. Okay? Your Die, die, must make it. Now, let me teach you a special English word. It's called die, die, must make it. Okay? This is what we call a singlish. Singapore English. Alright? Short form, D-D-M-M-I. So, attitude is more important than your ability. The greatest disability in life is a bad attitude. You know, a lot of people say, how can I have the DDMMI? How many of you want to have the spirit of the lion? Put out your hand. You want to have this DDMMI? Show me, come on. I, I didn't bring my contact lens so I can only hear you. Come on, show me. Wow, I just hear roaring of a lion. Well done. I like that. I love that. You know, how can you have this DDMMI? I can tell you, DDMMI is a muscle. If you don't have it, you can pretend first like this. Okay? It's a muscle. 
you need to train. It doesn't happen by accident. A lion practices that every day, every other day. You know, that reminds me about how I started in New Skin, how I started this business, okay? How to cultivate the DDMMI spirit. You know, one question I would like you to bring home today is why must we be successful in life? Okay, why? Now, we, we, in Singapore, we study many years until university or even more. But strangely, very few people ask us this question. Why must you be successful in life? Now, maybe many of us, we didn't think of this question. You know, it reminds me, I have an eight-year-old boy who is my buddy, my best friend. So I like to ask him this question. Now, imagine your son give you this attitude. Oh, mom. You know, I don't like Chinese. Chinese is tough. It's okay if I fail. It's all right. I can speak English. Is this a good attitude? Is this an attitude that we will advocate? No. So my question to you is, it is time. It is time we think about this question. Why must we be successful in life? You know, like many speakers who share today, we should give them a big round of applause. They flew all the way, all the way to Singapore, from Japan, from the US, you know. More thunderous, more lion applause, please. Where is the lion applause? The lion, the lion applause. I asked myself this question when I first started New Skin, you know. Many people are always looking for how to do new skin. But actually, 90% of the reason or your power lies in your desire. Now, when I was young, something interesting happened to my life, okay? I asked, um, you know, I came from a less privileged family. My dad left my mom. My mom is a housewife. My dad left us, or I would say abandoned us, at the age of 12, okay? And my mom was a housewife, no education. I have me and my little brother. So I remember one day when I was in school, my mom came running to me. She was crying, and I don't understand. Her eyes looked lost. My dad packed his stuff, he left without a goodbye. So, you know, from that day onwards, our life changed. My mom had to do three jobs to raise us up, and I started working at 13. So, you know, when she was working so hard to bring us up, like all our parents, you know, even though they are fighting hard, but they never let us worry. And she never says she's tired. She never. So from that day onwards, I told myself why I must be successful. Success is the responsibility. Am I right? Yes. Success is a must. Success is a responsibility. If you really love your family and you want to give them a better life, it is a must to be successful. So if you ask me, what is my power besides the power of God? What gives me the DDMMI spirit is my love for my family. And I'm sure we all love our family, am I right? We all want to give them a better life. You know, so I started my new skin. And I think, oh, finding 12 people is easy. I was a sales director, no problem. And honestly, I started new skin when I was 25, and I'm 40 
two this year. Gosh, time flies. <laughs> you know, I was so enthusiastic. And my friend, my classmate, was telling me that Nutrisensual products are expensive. I haven't even started with h -Log. h -Log doesn't exist, all right? I still remember one of my friends, my classmate, I gave her a sample to bring home. She declined me on the spot. How many of you have this similar experience? Your best friend, your friend, reject you on the spot. Does it hurt? Does it hurt? But let me tell you, your deepest struggle produced the greatest strength. Until today, I thank her. You know, last time when I, was talk when I started New Skin, my classmates start whispering behind me, you know, she's doing New Skin, you know, you know. Meaning, if she call you, don't pick up, don't pick up, don't pick up. <laughs> but thank God, today, all of them can see my success in New Skin. Now, I was a sales director. It should be very easy for me to build a team. But none of my colleagues joined me. I don't know why. I must be so horrible last time. Okay? And, of course, after we exhausted our friend, our colleague, I went to my relative. I got 20 uncles and aunties. Awesome, right? Finally, one of them joined me. But after four months, she quit right after she became an executive. You know, but today, she's a blue diamond and she has a new million dollar circle member to be recognized today. <laughs> Our Henny Sentosa from Indonesia. You know something? When God closed a door, he opens a new door. He has something better for you. So, you know, with what happened, I was forced to go to Malaysia. I was forced. And in my heart, I think Malaysia will be easier. Because Malaysia, you know, is a it's a an it's a MLM country. There's a lot of, you know, people, you know, who embrace this platform. So I started thinking it's easier, thinking that the market is bigger. And you know what happened? Every day after work, after I reach Malaysia, Johor Bahru at 9 p.m. And I leave Johor Bahru after 12 midnight. And the next day I go to work and I repeat the cycle. Okay? Day in, day out, week in, week out. It was so awesome. I did OPP. I shared about the opportunity. In a mall, until the mall closed down. Wow, I think my power is so amazing. The mall closed down. Really, it closed down. Today, if you drive to Johor, it's a deserted mall. Now, I, must, I know why I didn't make it last time, okay? And then in those good old days, there's no Google Map. It doesn't exist yet. There's no Facebook, no Instagram. Writing Names, you know, 50 names was even a challenge. That's how I started. And every message I sent to Malaysia, it cost me 40 cents. Today, you all can just send multiple videos to and fro. And, you know, so I started my Malaysia market. One day, I met a stranger in a, in a building. He's from insurance. So I was like so excited. And I drove to his house in the middle of nowhere. And the best part about Malaysia is not everywhere has street lamp. So there was this road, it was pitch dark. And the GPS went out of signal. Champion, seriously. And you know what I did? I continued going forward. Because 
Christopher Columbus say the world is round. Because there's only one way. The one way is keep going. And the beautiful part, God is good. I reach back the custom. Back in one piece. You know? So, and then when I was so enthusiastic about new skin, a lot of the people I spoke to in Malaysia, they averagely joined five MN company. Average, average, okay? And they will tell me about get-rich-quick scheme. They will tell me about how good is their company, how fast they can make their money. But when you look at their product, there's no genuine product. They sell dreams, they sell hope. That's about it, you know? We call the perimeter scam or get-rich-quick. And I was so confused. I OPP them, they OPP me back. <laughs> and it's my first experience in New Skin. Honestly, I really don't know what they're talking about. But one thing I know for sure, New Skin is real and it will stand through the test of time. I have a belief system that anything that you need to restart after a few years is never fast. Anything that cannot be accumulated is never big. So why was I so firmly rooted to the ground? Because I know what I want in New Skin is longevity. That's what I want from New Skin. And I know I do not just want to earn money, but I really want to improve life with innovative product, rewarding opportunity, and an enriching, uplifting culture. You know? Of course, it's easy to say that. Some of us in this room maybe are at a point that I was in a long time ago. You know, when I was down and under, I asked myself this question. A few years later, when you know you're going to be a $10 million circle member, what are you going to tell yourself today? DD. So I know that I'm going to be a 10 million or a 20 million dollar circle member. So I told myself I must persist. I must not give up, you know. And I use my persistence to beat resistance. And in the second seven years, I spent more time. One year honeymoon, one year I took care of my son, and I bring my son for holidays in 30 countries, and yet I achieve 10 times the result. So what we want in a business is that you don't need to always restart, and you can accumulate your success. And this is what New Skin is all about. And then I, you know, I told myself, okay? Long time ago when I was in Malaysia, when I, I, when I went to KL for two years, I rented an apartment, okay? Hoping to explode the KL market, okay? And what exploded? My pocket exploded, <laughs> okay? Because I, put, I, I fixed a lot of appointments. And you know what happened? They tell me Malaysia has big airport. I say, what do you mean? They say the people like to fly you aeroplane. In Singapore English, it means they say, okay, okay, they're coming, but they never show up. Okay? I, I tell you, that's why I know all the good food in KL. Because when there's no appointment, I went to find good food to eat. Okay? So, you know, 
Till today, I remember the vision I had when I was miserable. I told myself that one day, in every street, every lane, every exit on the highway, there's going to be new skin, new professional. There's going to be an H-lock user. Every corner. All right, because who wants a better life? Everybody wants a better life. All right, and dreams can come true. All right, so my dear friend, I really encourage you today, don't just do new skin for money, for something bigger than money, for a vision or a dream, you know, and for love of your family. And after that, I went to Indonesia market, okay? Because Indonesia is the biggest in Southeast Asia. Is it true? And I was telling myself, I must have this market, but I have no friends. So I went to make friends, okay? So I went to Suntec City. I know tomorrow a lot of people will go to Suntec City. There was an exhibition, a franchise exhibition. So I was looking for my Indonesia business partner, okay? And ta-da! I saw one businesswoman, okay? So, you know, I talked to her about new skin and she was very excited. That makes me very excited. And you know what? She speaks good English because she stays in America. And I realized she's actually more American than Indonesian. She forgot about her Basa Indonesia. She don't have friends in Indonesia because she stayed in the U.S. for very long. But today, she's my best friend and she's also New Skin $1 million circle member, Joanna Vira Maja. <laughs> and she's just back from the U.S. for a long holiday. You know, in Indonesia, they have a unique culture, okay? Indonesia is a very polite and a nice country. I realized one thing. They are totally different from Singaporean or American. In America, when we say yes, it's a yes, no, it's a no. But in Indonesia, they only have yes. <laughs> so, you know, when I ask them, are you, are you interested in the business? Yes. Do you want to buy the product? Yes. You know, do you want to come for the meeting? Okay. But then when you turn around, nobody appear. <laughs> Seriously. Just like my makeup artist today, I waited half an hour from him. From, uh, for him, he's an Indonesian. And I say, do you know where? Yes. Do you know how? Yes. But he, uh, he cannot find a place. <laughs> so I waited half an hour for him. You know, so that culture. And I'm a Singaporean. I was only about 28 years old. Do you think they trust me? Do you think they trust me? No, they don't trust me. Who is this stranger? You know, how, why should I trust you? And you know what I did? Since I got nothing, I only have the DDMMI spirit. I go there again and again, again and again until they trust me. They know I am serious. I want to improve the life of Indonesian. Today, not only they trust me, we become family. So, you know, many people ask me, how do you stay so positive? How do you stay so positive amidst all the challenges? Do you want to know? How can you stay so positive? How? How do you tell yourself? Okay? Now, over here, I prepare a glass of water. Okay? Not for me to drink. Okay. Now, can you see this glass of water? Do you see? Now, let me ask you a question. How heavy is this glass of water? How heavy? Okay, if you need a binoculars, you can take it out. How heavy is this glass of water? How many grams? 300 grams. Any other answer? 200. 200, okay, any answer? 288. Any answer? <laughs> 
Now, in my perspective, it's not about the weight of the water. It's about how long you hold this glass of water. Now, if you hold this glass of water for a while, it's almost weightless. But if you hold this glass of water for one hour, your arm will be aching. But if you hold this glass of water for one day, what will happen? Your hand will feel numb, feel paralyzed. Am I right? So, you know, how long do you hold on to the challenges that you face in new skin? If you think about it for a while, it's not going to kill you. But if you hold day, you keep thinking and you focus on your challenges, it's going to paralyze you. So, how I deal with all the challenges that I face, it may sound funny, but honestly, it was not funny when it happened. How I deal with the challenges, I let go of it, and I always choose to focus on the picture of success. So, don't try. Do or do not. Do not try. All right? And what spirit do you need for new skin? D-D-M-M-I. You know, before I go, I would like to ask you a few questions. I always love questions. Questions are the beacon in your life. Why must we really be successful? Why? What kind of person do you want to become? What kind of person? Someone who run away from challenges or someone who blossom and bloom in challenges? The first or the second one? We want to be someone who can realize our God-given potential because potential is the most beautiful word in the dictionary. So, you know, as you can see the picture on the left, I look worse than many of you in this room. Am I right? Okay, this is a, this is a difficult question to answer. Okay, in new skin, false for good, we never say someone is ugly, right? Okay, but honestly, I was less than ordinary. But because each and every time when I face a challenge, I never give up, like what Kaneko say, never, 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 never give up. I bloom. Every one of us is a different flower in this room. We don't need to compare with the flower next to you because we will bloom in our and our own time. Right? So what kind of person do you want to be? Second question. For myself as well. What kind of leader or a upline do we want to be? You know, everything rise and fall on leadership. Today, your people trusted you, they joined you in the business. Whether they eat rice or porridge, it's also in your hands, right? I know some people say you like to eat porridge, but that's not what I meant, right? Every country rises and falls on leadership, including your team. So is it a small thing or a big thing? It's a big thing. So ask yourself this question. 
What kind of leader do you want to be? How do you want to be remembered as a person, as a friend, or as a leader? Well done. That's our $20 million circle member in the making. And what is the kind of life that we want to provide for our family? You know, our parents went through hard times. They work hard, they strive hard to give us a better life. And, you know, they never let us worry about our future. Today, what kind of life do you want to give to your parents? Do they deserve a good life? Do they deserve a good life? You know, when I was in Africa with my mom, I slept with her in the room. We wake up together. I blow her hair. I choose her outfit every day. No stress, no burden. No worry about the future. It's a very secure feeling because I know exactly how my next 10, 20 years will be like in New Skin. You know, I love to hold my mom's hand. I love it. Firmly. I grip her hand up each and every step on Table Mountain. As you can see from this picture, it's heavenly. The view up there, it's heavenly. So today, why? Why must we DDMMI? Because our parents, our loved one, our success must be faster than the age, than the speed of their aging. Am I right? So, you know, my best gift is not the 10 million that I earn, but it is the smile on her face. That I can be her pillar in every aspect of her life. And what kind of role model do we want to be for our children. Do you love your children? I think we love them to the beats. All right. Just like how our parents love us. What would you tell your children when you go back home? Do you have a dream? Do you have a goal? Do you believe in your dream that can come true? So every day, I talk about success five formula with my son. I say success lies in new skin success five formula. All right? And to me, the best gift, the best gift for our children is to be the best role model. Am I right? And last but not least, discover the best in you. All right? Trust me, over the years, as you walk down this journey, every obstacle is a scenery. Every trial and challenges is to mold you for your future success. If not, when you become a one million, you have no story and no feeling. That's not good. Why we have tears? Why we have joy? Because life is an experience. We must experience life to the fullest. So my dear family in Southeast Asia, today, what you see in me is going to happen to you in the next few years. Do you see that? And I want to tell you, in the next few years, you, you, you will be up on that stage 
inspiring life. And you know what? I will sit down on the road and I will cheer my loudest for each and every one of you. Everyone, everyone, discover the best in you. I'm Lillian. Join me on this journey and be the best gift for yourself. Discover the best in you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lillian, for your very inspiring messages. You are truthfully the epitome of a genuine leader. A big hands once again for Miss Lillian Ong.